Okay, now let's talk about how a misunderstanding of religion causes us to clash with each other, right? As far as the male-female relationship is concerned. And we're going to start, and this is mainly for brothers, because I see a lot of brothers quoting the Bible at me, throwing verses at me. Y'all have to understand that, you know, the world we live in today didn't exist back then. So any scripture that you using to try to make that apply to the day, you are really doing a whole lot of juggling with language and interpretation to try to get that to apply. Because the things are just not the same. The way we view things are just not the same. The, the, the actual cultures that we live under are not the same. Nothing is the same. But now, let's say this here. If you one of them brothers that's be on here talking about a woman's body count or how a woman dress. And again, I know I got a lot of religious people going to get Y'all not going to like this, but hear it out. If you have a problem with a woman walking around and not even revealing see-through her outfits, but you don't have a problem with the way human beings are, are, are destroying our planet, how we are decimating our environment and drinking water supplies with fracking and all kinds of other shit, dumping pollutants into our rivers. If you don't have a problem with how we, we've caused tens of thousands of species to go extinct in just the last 50 years, if you think a woman wearing a see-through outfit that isn't even revealing is some sign of her being evil or wicked or some kind of harlot or something, and you don't see the real evil that these devils that are in control of this system, what they put out day in, day out, you are the problem, my brother. You are the problem. If you think a woman being in love with her looks, her body that Allah gave her, that your creator gave her, like she's supposed to hide it. She born naked, dumb fuck. She's born with that body, them big titties, that big ass, that pretty face. This is what your creator gave her. So she's supposed to cover it up for you? So you think her not wanting to cover that up for you, for whatever reason, you think you own another human being. You think her not wanting to cover that up makes her evil, but you don't see the evil of creating a system that has turned everything upside down. We can't trust nothing from a professional within the system, yet y'all praise and worship and honor these professionals. Anything a sociologist say about society, you got to go the opposite way. Anything a psychologist say about, about mental health, you got to go the opposite way. Doctors destroy health. Put it up, they got something to say. Doctors destroy health. Uh, lawyers destroy law or human rights or civil rights. You know, pull it up. This is well documented that every profession within this system works in opposition of what it's supposed to. Nothing is doing what it's supposed to do. Nothing is serving the purpose of what it was uh, supposed to serve. Everything within this system served the needs of the system. Which means you are judging your sisters or the, or the behaviors of, of human beings for being human beings. You are judging that based upon something somebody told you and gave you a crazy interpretation of religion. But you never stop to think, but we born, we born naked. Do y'all know they still got tribes? I won't really call them indigenous. Let's call them sub-indigenous, you know, uh, tribes all through South America right now. Where the women still walking around naked, literally. Coochies out. Titties out, coochies out. They got little grass skirts on. They don't cut, it's like a little, 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 little waistband they wear. But the, you can see the pussy, you can see the titties. And this is how the women walk around. Nobody thinks that, uh, you know, this is like wrong. Nobody in those cultures think that this, oh man, look how she walking around. They don't even think of it, bro. Well, that's because they're uncivilized. Call it what you want, man. The truth is we born naked. That's the truth of the matter. You can't even tell me why we even put clothes on. Most of you don't even know why we even wear clothes. If clothes serve a functional purpose, then that purpose is what it is, but that's still gonna make your naked body evil. If clothes serve no functional purpose, then the argument is the same. 
your naked body is still not evil. So we look, we judging women because they want to be more free to express themselves. And we see that as though it's wickedness of some sort, but we don't see the actual wickedness going on all around us. We have no problem with these people trying to start nuclear wars in our, that's going to affect us. And we don't even know what the hell they fighting for. Oh, well, you know, they trying to stop old evil Putin. Putin never did you, Putin never called you nigga. Has Putin ever shot you down, you know, shot a dude sitting in a car unarmed? Has Putin never shot a dude in the back 30 times that's trying to run away? Because he's getting stopped for a traffic violation? Has, has Putin ever confronted a, a, a young man for, for jaywalking and end up shooting and killing him? We have a lot of real problems going on right here in this country, man. To be sitting here trying to justify nuclear war. Y'all not afraid of that? Obviously not because nobody talks about it. I mean, it's the weirdest goddamn thing. America is doing all they can to drag us into some shit that we ain't got nothing to do with and y'all just okay with it. Oh, Biden just made it legal to smoke weed. Oh, whoop the goddamn do. Whoop the goddamn do. I didn't know that that's, that's, that's all it was going to take to get y'all <laughs> to, to, to buy your loyalty, to make weed legal. And that's this, this the kind of disrespectful stuff they do. They lock us down. They, they, they show us that we are their subjects, that we are their property, forcing millions of people, tens of millions of people to take a shot that they did not want to take because they need the economics of the system, because they have to work, because they have to function, or because they want to go to college. Just use anything they could as leverage within this system. And you worrying about how a woman dress or whether or not a woman wants to be married or whether or not a woman wants to be free and independent. That bothers you. But all this other stuff don't. These are the reasons why we clash with each other. Because we don't even know how to look at fellow human beings as human beings. We don't even know how to look at each other and, and respect each other as human beings. We have absolutely no respect for another human being. We want everybody to live their life to our benefit. And since we are all fighting for the same thing, it's a clusterfuck. It's chaos. And that's why we have no mind space for nothing else because what you really want is just to be married. But you're not going to get married until you first change the way you look at women. Women are not going to get husbands, particularly black women. You're not going to get a husband until you drop this feminist craziness. Until you drop all these crazy, silly talking points. Until you stop trying to measure the quality of a man based upon social economics. And men, you're not going to prove that you're a better man by trying to measure yourself against the mythical Pookie and Ray Ray that don't really exist. Because they got theirs anyway. It's you trying to get yours. They, they doing what they do. You trying to do what you do. So you're worrying about things and people and trying to, I'm, I'm a better man, I'm better than him. But I mean, shit, but that's it. If these people, if these dudes are so low, then trying to compare yourself to them is really doing nothing. You're disrespecting yourself. You're insulting yourself. I wouldn't even compare myself to them. So we got to up our game. We got to learn how to look at each other and respect each other better. We got to learn how to get outside of following the system, let, letting the professionals dictate how we view things. Letting the religious leaders dictate how we view things. Because at the end of the day, only God could judge us. That's it, bro. Only God could judge you. In the natural world, none of this stuff exists. None of it. In the natural world, none of this stuff would exist. And then all you would have is you and your actual innate qualities in nature as an individual to stand on, both men and women. If we get back to that, we can get back to each other. Now, I know this was a bit heavy. I hope it wasn't too heavy. And this is still lightweight for me. I haven't even got that. In fact, trying to mince the words and, and think about how I say this stuff makes it really hard to say it. Because I know if I just speak straight the way I like to speak, you're not going to get it. 
So on that note, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, your boy, Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.